Cowboys report host Tom Downey here breaking down the Cowboys week two injury news plus the Saints as well that we will get into. So we have that Cowboys and Saints injury report. Let's go briefly here overall look at the injury report for the Dallas Cowboys. Then we'll break down the Saints as well. Uh, Jake Ferguson, a knee injury, didn't participate again. It seems unlikely he's going to be able to go. Marshawn Nealon didn't practice Wednesday with his calf, was upgraded to limited on Thursday. That bodes really well. I'll explain why later on in today's show. C.J. Goodwin has a foot injury. He was again limited, but clearly battling something, but some decent Saints progress injury. there. So that I want John to go Stevens over here. Jr. So has a hamstring Jackson, again, the linebacker. did not Calf injury, did not participate. Now, there are several days Saints. that does not bode well for him. Marshawn Lattimore, the cornerback, has a hip slash a hamstring injury. He did not participate today either. Two straight days for Marshawn Lattimore. That does not bode well for him being able to play. That is a real concern uh, for the Saints. Tyron Matthew, his heel injury, uh, up from dim did not participate on Wednesday to limited on Thursday. Foster Moreau has a concussion. He was upgraded to full, so he should be good to go. At least he was in concussion protocol. Lucas Patrick upgraded from uh, did not participate to limited on Thursday. Kalen Sa uh, Saunders, the defensive tackle, also a did not participate. Two updates. Jalen Ford, backup linebacker, limited back-to-back -back days. Taliese Fuaga went from limited on Wednesday with a back issue he did not practice Thursday. That is a significant concern for a Saints team that has concerns overall about their offensive line depth like so many teams. So injury news, good for Dallas. Not so good for the most part for the Saints. So what is your concern level over those Dallas Cowboys injuries? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1 on the low end, 10 on the high end. It is the pinned comment on today's show. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Let's talk Jake Ferguson here. Uh, the Cowboys have kind of claimed, oh, we're not going to rule him out. We think he can play. I think it'd be really dumb if they did that. <laughs> um, maybe not full-on dumb. Like I, I do trust the Cowboys overall when it comes to injury management. Less about the information. This might very well be the... Yeah, Jake Ferguson was never going to play, but the Cowboys put that info out there to try to trick the Saints a little bit. I would be cautious here. Like, I need Jake Ferguson. He is a critically important part of my pass-catching unit. He, he, Seam God Dak needs, needs Fergie out there. But I need him most for the end of the year, not for a Week 2 game. I don't, want, I, I don't want this to be a trap game loss. Make no mistake about it. But I can't jeopardize losing Ferguson for the entire year if that's how the Cowboys feel about it. They, they will be it smart. They will be smart. If he doesn't practice Friday, it, it, it's just not going to happen, I think. Um, he's too good. He's too important for this long-term team there. So would you play Jake Ferguson? Y for yes, N for no. Go ahead and sound off for me in the comment section of today's show, Y or N. Let's talk injury news here. John Stevens was, again, a did not participate with that hamstring injury Thursday. If you don't practice Wednesday, you don't practice Thursday, it's really hard to anticipate you're going to be out there on Sunday. So I doubt you see Jake Ferguson. I doubt you see John Stevens. I reserve the right to change mine. If they're, if they're limited Friday, that gives them a very real possibility. If they can't go, it's Luke Schoonmaker, Brevin Spanford. They might call up Princeton Fant from the practice squad, by the way. That's a, that's a possibility for Dallas. And I think you'll see Hunter Lipke involved he spent over half his snaps in week one lined up in line at tight end he actually spent more time not at fullback than at fullback Mike McCarthy groups those two spots together he doesn't have typical tight end size but he's kind of been a versatile chess piece at North Dakota State I think he could be more involved than we expect in week two now today's show is made possible by the game time app they have a new feature. It's called Game Time Picks. It makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to only show you the incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. 
The game time guarantee means you will always get the best price or game time will credit you 110% of the difference if you find tickets in the same section and row for less. So download that game time app over at gametime.co. Use code chat sports for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. But again, create your account. Redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, Chat Sports, for $20 off. Download Game Time today because what time is it? It's Game Time. Let's talk injury news here. C.J. Goodwin, also limited Thursday. He's limited back-to-back -back days. Clearly battling something. He's an older player. Uh, he's actually fairly old for a special team specialist. Uh, not as common. That, that's not like Matthew Slater. So I would anticipate... He'll probably be limited Friday, and that probably means the Cowboys have to put him on the injury report. But I, I think he'll be good to go. Um, they'll monitor those steps. I, I'm not even mentioning all these veteran rest days. Like, oh, yeah, Brandon Cooks you know, didn't, didn't practice Wednesday. Not to tank Lawrence, Zach Martin. Yeah, they don't need to. And I think that's a good plan by Mike. You'll see that, I think, pretty much every week. Uh, if you guys haven't already, now is the time to subscribe. Hit that sub button, youtube.com slash at Cowboys TV for Cowboys videos multiple times per day, every single day. The biggest news, most positive at least, comes from Marshawn Nealon. He was limited on Thursday after missing practice Wednesday with his calf injury. I was a bit surprised. That Mike McCarthy at his press conference made it sound like Nealon wasn't going to be out there. Uh, was in a limited capacity. Going from DNP to limited to, I limited or four, I would hope, on Friday, I think means he's, he's going to play. Now, he's not, he's probably going to get that questionable tag, but getting, getting in a practice Thursday, even a partial one, is a big deal. And this team needs him. You know, Marsh, honestly, your top defensive players, Micah Parsons, Osa Odigizua, Demarcus Lawrence, Marshawn Neeland, like, those guys played a ton ton of snaps for you. A higher snap count percentage. I was like, yeah, you're going to want to give, you know, Osa 40 and Mozzie 20 and Jordan Phillips and Linval 20. He gave Osa 60. A lot. No, you were out there a lot on defense, which is partially your offense's fault, also just kind of the game flow. It also happens a lot when you allow a punt return touchdown or have one, like, or you get short fields. Like, it just kind of happens sometimes that way. It's not the end of the world. Defense played great. You need Marshawn Neeland out there. I thought he played pretty damn well in week one. Had a couple of different pressures. I don't think he's ever going to be a superstar pass rusher, at least not early on. But I think he can give you Demarcus Lawrence light. And if I can get that in year one, that's a huge boost for your for your front. So prediction time. Who has the most Coming sacks back to the for Saints the Cowboys injury report in here? Again, the, the status Let me know of, in the comments section uh, of Taliesin Fuaga is a real concern for New Orleans. That would be a significant loss for them if he is unable to go. They've they got good play out of Trevor Penning. We'll talk more about that on our preview coming up here in a little bit. That is something that I have overall concern about because that means they're going to start Ali Odu or Landon Young, and that's not that's that's just Mike Zimmer just is going to be over the moon if 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 Waga can't go. That that'd be a very very big deal on the left side. Also worried for the Saints about the secondary. Uh, Paul Sinadibo is a good corner. Uh, Alante Taylor, I think, has talent. Uh, I love the matchup, though, against CeeDee Lamb. If Lattimore can't go, it means Cooley McKintry starts. I, I love to coming out of Alabama. But that's a, a first-year corner. It means they're probably not going to be able to shadow CeeDee Lamb. I think that bodes re really well for Dallas. Seems like Tyron Matthews going to be able to go. We'll monitor that one if, 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 it, if it regresses. Uh, it'd be a lot of Will Harris otherwise. You still might see some Will Harris. Uh, Honey Badger's a, still a very fun football player. Maybe not as great as he was at his absolute peak and prime, but he's, he's still a good football player. So the Lattimore and Fuaga ones, certainly the ones to watch because those would be potentially significant losses in Week 2 for a Saints team coming off a very dominant and impressive win over Carolina.